8.9 percent of them are actually established young entrepreneurs. Young entrepreneurs are actually estimated to have the best results when it comes to risk management. And also, there are 60 percent of them getting additionally added to new generation of entrepreneurs. Keeping all these stats in our mind, we all know that there are so many upcoming entrepreneurs and these are actually the younger ones. When we think about our younger selves and when we think about what do we have to do when we have the right age and right time, we all right, and that is where we all strive towards determining our career. But sometimes we don't actually end up in the way we want. There might be a little misturns and upside downs. So we have to remember certain key points. In this, I'll be telling you ways that young entrepreneurs actually end up sabotaging themselves. And you can take this if you are an upcoming entrepreneur. Don't forget to take these key points as your guidelines for your future as well. I'm Vasharin Kumar. Welcome to the Freedom Business English channel. Do not forget to subscribe and download our Freedom app. First one is not being flexible enough. You have to understand that your mind has to stretch as big as the market is and your product or service has to provide all the needs and services that the customer requires. So when it comes to the word flexible, I am talking about the changes. You have to accept the changes. Let me tell you, initially you guys would have started with a proper mindset. Probably in the mindset that your business is going to flow the same way over and over. But sometimes you can never expect the way people's mind change. You cannot understand the way people change their perspective towards the product. You cannot understand how the market is changing. But as a young entrepreneur, you have to stick with the market cycle as well as stick on to the customer's mind. You have to understand the entire way the customer keeps changing their priorities and how the market also keeps going through with these priorities. You have to go with the flow. Yes, I agree. But somewhere you have to also keep in mind the way the trend is. And you have to know that you are an entrepreneur here and you have to make sure your entire company is going the way you expect. And when it comes to the age and everything, you are in this generation. It's easier for you to determine and making mistakes is really good because you get to learn from them. But repeating them is not the solution. When I'm talking about flexibility, most of the young entrepreneurs actually fail to do this. They would have started off their business in a really, really good manner, but they would not end it right. They might sabotage themselves by doing these silly mistakes. Next one is not taking the right action. I know that we are all strategic mind people. When it comes to business, we make a lot of strategies. When it comes to marketing or let it be sales, we all have to make our own strategy and a business plan towards this. The only reason I'm telling you this is because people tend to overthink. These young entrepreneurs, since their blood is young, they end up making wrong decisions or thinking too much when it comes to strategies. I know that you are capable of strategizing the perfect plan for your business. But overthinking the entire plan might actually destroy your business. Overthinking about the strategy usually happens when there is too much of fear in a person. You have to get scared. Yes, I agree. Because the entire matter is about the finance and money here. But what you tend to delay is that you don't get the entire logic of not overthinking. If you sit calm, think twice about the entire problem, you'll have the solution. Probably not in a bigger way, but you'll eventually have the solution. But overthinking the entire strategy, trying to get over competitors in a larger way might actually destroy your entire foundation that you've built. Remember that do not overthink. And also you have to take action when you have a counter strategy on the other side. You have to make sure that your action is immediate. You have to understand as an entrepreneur, your team cannot keep coming and telling you that you have to do this, you have to do that. You are the one who should be guiding your entire team and telling that this is happening in the so-and-so company and we have to grow and we have to also develop equality. You have to understand that you have to grow that way by not making rational choices and thinking in a calmer way. Take action when you have something that is threatening you and make sure whatever you're taking action as is a perfect and a calmly made plan. Next one is nurturing a negative mindset. Your mind is your biggest business tool. You have to understand that no matter what, whatever situation you are in, you have to end up thinking positive or in an optimistic way rather than accumulating all the negative thoughts towards your mind and thinking that whatever you're doing might end up as a failure. Yes, we all fail in life, but failure is the first step of success. We all have to remember that everybody fails. But do you actually have the guts to overcome that failure? Do you think you are that person who can overcome the entire thing no matter how many people are taunting you down? Remember that you have to accumulate positive and optimism into you rather than nurturing negative thoughts. So this is one of the way that you have to have a quick check over you and then understand 
what is right for you or what is wrong what is change in your behavior are you following the same methods that you usually used to or are you changing towards the entire society are you thinking about the ways towards success towards your dream and also when i say that people nurture towards the negative thoughts we have all seen examples of a lot of young adults who have destroyed themselves by just having negative thoughts and this cannot be the only way that you can think you have to even think on the brighter side next one is feeling guilty about your dream let's face it guys starting a business is not that easy but to achieve your dream you have to go through all the hardships we all know that sometimes it's not easy through the way you're going probably the way you choose or the path or time you're giving everything might be really hard it's going to require few sacrifices at the end probably time and energy as well you might not be actually giving right time to your entire family but you have to remember at the end when you succeed they are the ones who are going to be really happy about it so giving up your dream and feeling guilty that whatever you started was actually a mistake is not a right thing so think again what you started and why you started and is this the right cause are you going the right direction ask these question to yourself and then you'll know the answer we don't have to make videos or tell you more about this when you yourself know why are you there and what is the main reason that you are there few of them end up doing this and getting negative thoughts nurtured due to this mistakes as i say i have made mistakes you guys have made mistakes everyone has made mistakes but thinking whatever we started is bad is not the right way you can learn from experiences probably that business might teach you a lot of things probably that might actually lead you towards failure there is always another way you can come up with more and more ideas and start a new one and give your life an entire new beginning so remember that whatever you're doing no matter what is towards success itself did be determined have your goal straight and give time to your entire peaceful mindset and then that is going to give you answers itself Next one is a bigger red flag that you all have to remember. Do not compare yourself with others. Again I repeat, do not compare yourself with others. Your business itself is unique. You have your own strength and you have your own customers. Probably somebody else might have a better set of customers. Try growing towards them. Do not try to compare yourself and sabotage your entire business in this process. Remember that over time you are going to grow to that level as well. If you keep your dreams and determination towards your goal, then you'll definitely succeed towards it. Remember going over and over about your same business plan will not help you. You have to keep changing and you have to think about new strategies. We all take a step back when it comes to thinking about new strategies. Yeah, because we need time. We need to understand how the market is going, how our customers are responding towards us, how can you communicate and how can we increase our sales. everything comes at the same spot but rushing and trying new gimmicks might actually hurt the entire business this might not only cost your financial side this might also cost everyone's pocket as well as everyone who trusted in you trust is only built when the leader is actually being determined and they know that they're following the right person but if you break the barriers of trust then nobody is going to follow you even when you have the right plan the next time Remember that no matter what you have a team for you and they are waiting for you to make right choices. If you are the right leader, make sure that you don't compare yourself with others. Competition is important, but you have to grow in your own way. Copying or then cheating that is not the morals of life. Remember you can only grow as a right leader when you follow your heart rather than thinking about everyone around you. Next mistake all these young entrepreneurs do that might actually sabotage them is only that they try to take shortcuts. Remember everything has its own process everything has its own path and everything has its own time if you're a right leader you're definitely going to have that patience trying to achieve everything in a short term basis is not the way that we can succeed yes probably we are all those students who end up studying at the previous night of our exam that doesn't work in life that is not the way we end up doing things because business itself is an exam every day is a new section of questions and every task is like practicals you have to remember that no matter what your exam is not to be prepared and go and perform whatever you know on the spot as we go back to our memories of past we've all enjoyed but when it comes to business we can't spend the same time by taking everything in a easier track few people might actually come and help us but remember that are you taking the help of right people Are they actually in the intention of helping you? Are they in there for their benefits? Shortcut might actually seem really good. Shortcuts might actually seem more easy. It's said that whatever you get easily goes away easy. So remember that no matter what, easy is not the way you can succeed towards your dream. You have to remember hard way and hard working can only fetch you experience and good term and guide towards your success. By telling you the margin of profit is much more quicker. 
but are you making the right decision by doing this what if you miss out on a bigger way of learning and bigger margin of profit so think about that don't get into the illusion of shortcuts and then drive into the way that you know and you feel it's right the ideas and opportunities random people pitch into us are actually very tempting but do not get mesmerized by that young entrepreneurs are often told that this is one of the most important reason that young adults have actually taken consideration of but are you actually considering the right shortcut at least think about that and then see what your business is heading towards if you are heading the right way you will know it if you are heading down the line then you know how to come across it and you know what mistake you have done if you are a person with dreams to pursue your entire business and you are watching this video do not forget that you have a long way to go and you have to understand each and every step is an experience so remember to follow these guidelines and keep in mind not to repeat these mistakes because you never know where the slightest of slightest mistakes can actually lead you towards remember no matter what you can actually achieve and you can actually pursue whatever you've dreamt if you like this video do not forget to like share and comment and also download our freedom app which can actually give you many more guidelines towards your dream of business finance or organic farming as well thank you so much get wise and break free